If you want to play Logic Pro's hundreds of built-in instruments on your iPad, you'll first need to get to grips with its five available play surfaces. Keyboard, drum pads, fretboard, chord strips, and guitar strips. You might not know that each of these surfaces has some options hidden away that can dramatically change the way that you use them. Starting off with the keyboard then, if like me your piano expertise never progressed past the point of having to stick what each note was to each key of your keyboard, you can thankfully turn on note labels for the keyboard play surface. With the play surface open, tap on the three dots on the right hand side, then tap on surface settings. You can change a whole host of options here, but we're looking for the show note names toggle. Just tap it and all of your keyboard's keys will display their respective notes. While we're in this menu, tapping the polyphonic pitch bend toggle will add a pitch option next to the play and scroll buttons in the middle there. You can then select whether sliding up on played keys will trigger aftertouch or modulation. Aftertouch works best when paired with a MIDI instrument that supports MPE, like Logic's Alchemy Synth, or third-party instruments like Moog's Animoog Z. Modulation mimics the action of using the modulation wheel. Very cool. Lastly, you can hit the scale button in the top right of the play surface window, toggle the activate switch, and all playable keys will switch to a scale of your choosing. This makes creating melodies within a certain key really easy, perfect for those less experienced with tickling those ivories. Drum pads then, tapping edit at the top of the play surface allows you to select specific parts of your selected drum kit. If you open the plugins window, you can then add MIDI or audio effects to each individual drum sound, or dive into the quick sampler and fine tune its sound even further. Tapping the three dots on the right of the surface and tapping surface settings gives you a lot of options. You can do things like reorder the position of the pads in the play surface, show or hide the kit icons themselves, or select from three different velocity modes, fixed, dynamic, or tap Y position. Also, it might sound obvious, but remember that you can access all the pad sounds that your selected kit has to offer by resizing the play surface by tapping, holding and dragging the two lines in the window's right hand corner. Yes, you can play guitar sounds, obviously, on the fretboard play surface, but those of you who are used to GarageBand's fantastic orchestra instruments interfaces might feel a bit cheated by this fretboard surface. If you'd rather play Logic's excellent studio string sounds, for example, on a more suitable interface, tap those three dots again, then surface settings, and then select the appropriate layout.
in the articulation menu, you can select from 18 different playstyles. Note that turning frets on won't let your slide notes up and down the fretboard smoothly. Every note will trigger. Good for something like bass guitar sounds, not so good for a viola or cello, for example. In the chord strips menu, you only have access to velocity settings. But if you head to view options instead and switch from mod and pitch, to note repeat, you'll have different options when tapping to open the mod wheel button. Tap and hold on one of these note repeat rates, then tap and hold on a chord strip and the note will, unsurprisingly, repeat. You can adjust the gate and velocity controls here for a more dramatic effect. Note that you can adjust the repeat values here by heading back into the menu and selecting Configuration. Guitar strips unsurprisingly sound great when used alongside guitar instruments, but you can also use them to get some interesting sounds from synths. With a guitar instrument loaded, tapping and holding the Wii hand icons will result in a palm mute chug sound being applied to your guitar. This is essentially the equivalent of turning the mod wheel up to max. So if you load up a synth patch and use the guitar strip surface, you can quickly create some unique sounds using this palm muting feature. Those are some cool things that you can do with Logic Pro for iPads play surfaces. I'd really love it if you could take a second to hit the like button underneath this video, it really does help. And if you could leave a comment and let me know what you want to see on this channel in the future, that would be great too. You should see another Logic Pro video floating around here somewhere, so go ahead and watch that next. <laughs>